Everybody knows what is a triangle. Well, a triangle is a closed figure with three sides. In this video, we are going to look at two formulas for calculating the area of a triangle. And then we will look at some concepts related to triangles. So this is a triangle with sides A, B and C. And we have been given the height of this triangle as well as the base, the length of the base of this triangle. So the first formula to calculate the area of a triangle is very easy and that is area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height if you have been given the base and the height of a triangle. Now if you don't know the base and height of a triangle there is another formula to calculate the area of a triangle. Let me write it for you. The area is equals to under root of s into s minus a into s minus b and into s minus c and where a, b and c are the three sides of this triangle and where s is equal to half of the sum of the sides that's half of a plus b plus c. So these are the two formulas that help you in calculating the area of a triangle. Let us solve a problem now. In fact we have two questions. Let us solve the first question. Find the area of a triangle whose altitude is 12 cm and base is 10 cm. Now we have been given the height and the base. Now we can calculate the area. Area is equal to half into base into height and that is equal to half into the base is 10 cm. So 10 into height is 12. That's 120 by 2. Therefore area is equal to 60 cm square. Now let us look at the second question. You have to find the area of the triangle given here. So we have been given the sides of this triangle and we don't know the base and the height. Well there is a formula. It is under root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c and for that we'll have to calculate the value of s and that's the sum of the sides divided by 2. So let's calculate the value of s first. So s is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 5 by 2. So this is 12 by 2 and this is 6. So the value of s is 6. Area is equal to, we know the formula, it is under root of s is 6 into 6 minus 3 into 6 minus 4 into 6 minus 5. And that's under root of 6 into 3 into 2 into 1. And that is equal to root of 36. And under root of 36 is 6 centimeter square. So 6 cm square is the area of this triangle shown here. Now let us look at some terms or concepts related to triangles in just a brief manner. We are not going to get into much more details of this. Most of the people know about this. So what is a centroid and what is a median? Well let me first write what are the medians in this triangle given here A, B and C. So the medians are AE, then CD, and then BF. These are the three medians of this triangle. So what is a median? Well, a median is a line joining the vertex and the midpoint of the opposite side. Right? E is the midpoint of BC because CE and EB are equal. Now same is the case with the median BF. F is the midpoint of AC. So the line joining from B to F is the median and same is the case with CD. So median is a line which joins a vertex of a triangle and the midpoint of its opposite side. Now what is a centroid? Well a triangle has three medians and the point where all of these three medians intersect or meet is called the centroid. So O is the centroid of this triangle. right? Now a centroid has a property. A centroid divides the median in the ratio of 2 is to 1. That means this segment BF is divided into 2 is to 1 parts. Similarly CD is also divided into 2 is to 1 and same is the case with AE. So the centroid divides the median into 2 is to 1 parts. Now D, E and F are the three midpoints of the sides of this triangle. 
Now if you join these points, it will form a triangle. Now the area of this triangle DEF, which is formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of this triangle ABC, is equal to one fourth of the area of the triangle ABC. Right? So you should keep that in mind. It's a very important property. Now one thing I forgot to tell you is about medians. Now this median AE will divide this triangle ABC into two triangles. One is ACE and the other is ABE. And the area of these two triangles will be equal. Same is the case with the median CD. It will also divide this triangle ABC into two triangles and the area of triangle ACD and the area of triangle BCD will be equal. So these are some of the properties of triangles.